the president of ICC, the White House, the President of America, United Nations on Security and Human Rights, UNPO, Amnesty International, Save Our Souls. I use this opportunity to congratulate the new president-elect of the International Criminal Court of Justice, ICC, Justice Chile Obue Osoji, and his co-vice presidents. May God give all of you the wisdom to handle all the cases that involves mass barrier, ethnic cleansing, genocide, in almost all the countries in the world. Permit me to say that the United Nations Organization, UNO, is a failure in this 21st century because the world is on fire and nothing is happening to restore peace in all the war torn countries in Africa, Europe, Asia, and some countries in South America. You may wonder why this letter is going directly to the president of ICC. I want to stay categorically that so many leaders in most of these war torn countries are responsible for the maiming and strangling of innocent souls in their respective countries. Number one case study is Nigeria, whereby thousands are men every day, and the leaders are busy campaigning for another four years' tenure and forget to mourn the dead. There is mass barrier every day in Benue State, Plateau State, all the states in the south and eastern part of Nigeria. The bears of the sky witnessed this scenario and flew for fear of extinction. The worst part of the drama is that the president is saying that he is not aware of all the maiming and strangling of innocent souls in the contraption called Nigeria. My lord, if I may ask, can the chief security commander of a nation utter such frimsy excuse about thousands of souls that are perishing every day in the hands of vampires, popularly known as Fulani Hesmen and Boko Haram? Permit me once again to say that the current president of Nigeria counterbalanced the defunct government of Godwin Ebele Jonathan and promised the nation that if elected into power in 2015, his government will eradicate insecurity and destroy Boko Haram within a few months in office. And that was why he defeated Jonathan. Boko Haram now metamorphosed into Fulani men to conquer and destroy innocent souls every day. And our president is saying nothing. These vampires need a cow colony in the south, Middle Bet, 
and eastern part of Nigeria because the climate is good for their car or for green. This is the point of emphasis and is counterproductive because you cannot chase away owners of the land in respect of cow. Animals can never be compared to humans. But sorry to say that in Nigeria, cows are worshipped and respected than humans. What a crooked generation. I now beckon on ICC to use their veto power to look into this case of ethnic cleansing and without delay put pressure on United Nations organization to give the Biafrans a date for referendum so that all the Southerners, Middle Beds and Easterners we sit on the round table and discuss their predicaments once and for all. We are saying that these vampires from the north have no consonance with the Satanas. And there is nothing like Nigeria because nobody signed for Nigeria as a nation in 1914 that one Nigeria continued to kill millions of Nigerians as from 1914 to date. We need a country whereby all the ethnic nationalities we sign and nobody will marginalize anybody or nobody will be marginalized. America and Canada are examples of countries that signed for their independence. All the provinces that make up Canada didn't sign the same day. And all the states in America didn't sign the same date. That enough is enough of these killings. And the only solution is peaceful segregation. We are Christians and darkness has nothing to do with light. Our culture, language, re religion are not in pari passu with that of the Northerners. Every kilometer there is another language that we have about 500 ethnic nationalities in Nigeria and according to unrepresented people's organization UNPO, 100,000 people can make up a nation just like Grenada. That the government of Britain, now England, have or has a case to answer by putting us together in 1914 without any feasibility studies. That 1914 was the beginning of doom in that contraption called Nigeria. That all we need is freedom and nothing more. Thank you and God bless. Aluta continua. Lady Boro Felix, senior activist, philanthropist.